what's going on guys it's your boy peter and i'm back again with another video um before i start this video i want to say thanks to everyone that has been showing the love on this channel um the channel has been growing up you know every month every week um i appreciate you guys for always you know liking asking me questions um you know showing love to this channel man let's get this channel to 100 subscribers by the end of this month man appreciate all the love today i'm gonna be talking about do you have to be good in physics and math to become an aircraft maintenance engineer? Um, this is all based on my experience, you know what I'm saying? And all the companies I have worked for, uh, it could be different because I graduated in the year 2016. So everything could be all different right now in school. I'm not sure, but I'm just talking from my whole experience, right? Um, my answer is yes and no. And I'll give you a few points why you need math and physics and also why you don't need it. Um, so basically in school, right, you definitely have to be good in math and physics. Um, that's because 70% of your subjects are all based on calculations and um, aerodynamics, right? You know what I mean? So for especially your first um, year of doing an uh, aircraft maintenance engineer program, you have to know a lot of math and physics. Um, but down the line, once you get to your second year and second semester, um, your second year, it becomes more flexible. And you know, the amount of math and physics you do every day is going to be a little bit less. But when it comes to the real world, when you get your job, most of the time you don't need math and physics. I have not seen myself. I've not remembered the last time I actually had to do a little calculation. Uh, I mean, sometimes you might have to do a little, you know, one plus two like but actually doing you know actually doing a lot of calculations no you don't have to do that in the real world um because most of the most of the calculated um you know situations are now computerized you know there's a lot of computers computers that actually do the, does the calculations for you so hopefully i answer some people's question out there um if you guys have more questions let me know um it's gonna be you know my channel is more about giving the answers straight to the point I don't waste time and I just tell you guys how it is, right? Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Love you, boys.